Hello, hello. I am going to be unboxing another game here. This is a Kickstarter game, Tapeworm, and you can probably tell from how zoomed in I am. This game is tiny. It's like six inches at most to a side, so it's it's absolutely minuscule. Um, but I did kickstart this. This is created by Edmund McMillan, who's known for making things like Super Meat Boy, uh, The Binding of Isaac, which he also had the card game for that included in this, which I didn't do an unboxing of, but I do really enjoy that game. Um, so this is a very simple uh, sort of game. It's kind of like Uno. I mean, that's what he like likened it to in one of the games. This is the pink box, which is one of the Kickstarter exclusive boxes. Look at the look at the play of light on that. That looks so cool. Um, ages eight plus, two to four players, 15 to 30 minutes. And more artwork on the back. The different worms kind of meet in the back like that. Cut the tapeworm as it grows too long and begin again. Be the first to play all your cards to win. A fun and weird game of spatial color matching for two to four plus players. Compete to create long and colorful tapeworms. So, similar to most of Edmund McMillan's stuff, it's a little kind of gross, kind of silly, but I love his work, and I'm pretty excited for this. Um, there are replacement cards they sent us. Not that one. Yeah. We got uh, some card replacements because there was like a slight misprint with the... Um, the not safe for work version, which I'm still debating whether I want to unbox that and take the time to censor it out or what, but I'll, I'll figure that out by the time I get through this one. So we'll go through those as well. I'll put those off to the side. I'm also using a different table. As you can see, um, I took down the gaming table because I'm not sure what I want to do with whiteboard games. Uh, yeah, I'm still, I'm still deciding all of that. So let's get into this. Yeah, my old nemesis plastic. Well, this one's not too bad though. I'm getting getting some. There we go. He, come on, let me in. Let me in. All right. Zoop. Unplasticed. Hold on. Let me throw this away. Also got a sip of water. It's important to hydrate kids and other people. This isn't meant specifically for kids. All right. Ooh, and we got all of my Kickstarter bonuses. Looks like so. The rule book looks like this one was like a little crimped to the side. Oh well, but uh, oh, it's more of a pamphlet actually. Let's bust that open. Advanced mechanics. Oop, try not to bump the mic. Tapeworm. Place a start. So you place a start tile. You add on to it different card effects. Advanced mechanics like this when you hit a circle. Advanced rules. FAQ. All that different stuff. I don't need to go too much into that. Ooh, and I should show inside the box we have, uh, looks like ribs. Because <laughs> it's inside of a person. Gross. But that's what you get with Edmund McMillan. It's all kind of gross. Um, got some stickers of the different worms. Which I believe was a stretch goal. But there we go. That's all for the pink, black, red, and white. Put that aside. These, let me see what this is. Oh, oh, this is not a resealable bag. Well, good thing I'm getting this on film. Wait, I want to double check. I want to tear this open if I can close it up. Nope, whatever. I have a bunch of extra bags from other games and such. Yeah, let's pop that open. Ugh, try not to bend it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. And, ah, it's a little, little poster. Awesome. All the different worms discombobulated being cut up and put back together. Whoa, whoa, that's freaky, I love it. That's really scary looking, but I, I love it. It's kind of gross, but this whole game's kind of gross. So, that's what you get. <laughs> we got, Ooh, brick of cards. These are square cards. Uh, I don't know if they're exactly square. Hold on, it probably says somewhere on here. Nope, whatever. They will assume they're basically square, as far as I can tell. So let's crack them open. That's pretty much all this game is, is just the cards. And ooh, actually, before I do that, here are the Binding of Isaac promo cards. 
that we get. So there's the tapeworm card. Play an additional loot card. And this is like super hollow foiled and everything. That's cool. So that's a tapeworm character. Okay, so that's a character card. You get play as the tapeworm. Then the pink proglotid, who is the starting item. And then the tapeworm as an enemy. And some other item cards. White, red, black, and the rainbow. Nice. Ooh, Harry kind of smudged them a little bit. And those are all the bad. I mean, it's Binding of Isaac. You know, so I will add that to my set later. That's awesome. I, I actually might want to sleeve these because they're going to be kind of rare. Those are very, very nice. Ooh. They're very slippery, too. And we got this. And inside that, we got the spine, pink worm, red worm. All that fun, gross stuff. Nice. Okay. Put that aside with the insert. It, whoop. Come on now. Stay in. All right. And now, once again, no tear strip. As far as I can tell, anyways. So I'm just going to have to struggle with this for a second. Hold on. Ah, finally. Okay. I got a thing in it. Come on, guys. Put tear strips on your cards. It's the biggest pain when you got to, like, fiddle around and try not to scuff the edges or anything. <sighs> okay. Here we go. These are the various things. Um, I don't know which cards are getting replaced since they were kind of messed up. Is it that one? Maybe. So that's the start card. These are reference cards. Love reference cards. Always, always have some reference cards. Or a reference on the back of the manual. Start card. And then the various worms cards. Man, this is a, yeah, this is a hefty set of cards. Whoa, look at that. That one's crazy. All right. Well, I like it. I like it. Yeah, I'll have to go through and figure out which ones are being replaced. Oh, yeah, and there's a blank card so that you can draw your own cards. I remember that being something they discussed on one of the live streams that I followed. Um, Let me check quickly off camera if these are something I'm going to have to censor. Oh, it's the reference cards that are getting replaced. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think they accidentally put just the not safe for work ones in both. So with everything in here, I don't know what this is going to retail at because I got the Kickstarter version, like I said, uh, but I'm pretty happy with it. This looks like it's going to be very fun. These are nice big cards that are pretty high quality. N not the best, you know, but at least the quality of say an Uno or something. And of course, I also got these and the stickers and all sorts of different stuff. So I'm pretty happy with this. I think this is going to be a pretty fun game. Pretty excited to try it out. Yeah, that's everything. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing about Whiteboard Games Season 2. Uh, I, I don't know. It, I, I'm going to figure it out uh, whether or not I even want to do it. But Whiteboard Games Season 1 is still available on my channel. So is a bunch of other unboxings I've done of other games and... Uh, a few few different game-like reviews and stuff. I reviewed uh, Fallout, and I plan to review other games in the future. And I, I've been writing some other stuff that has to do with board games and other things. I don't want to get too deep into it, but that all said, please subscribe, like, comment, all that. Check me out on Twitter, at IggyDKid. Uh, check out my live streams, twitch.tv slash IggyKid. Come and join us. Join the conversation. I love to talk to people in chat and everything, so come check it out. Thanks for watching and everything, and I hope I've let you know whether or not this is a game that you'd want to get. Tapeworm.